Once you have cleaned your trolley, don an apron and decontaminate your hands using the WHO 7-stage hand washing technique. This must be used every time you decontaminate your hands. Take your catheter pack and check that it is in date. Open the pack onto the trolley without touching the contents. You must decontaminate your hands as you have been touching outer packaging. Carefully open up the sterile catheter pack. You should open the pack away from you first of all. Take your sterile forceps and organise the contents of the catheter pack, placing the cotton wool balls into the sterile pot. Discard the forceps into the sharps bin and decontaminate your hands. Take your first chlorhexidine wipe and check that it is in date. Also check the expiry date of the saline sachet. Clean the top of the normal saline packet and open, pouring the saline into the pot. Repeat this process for the second saline packet. Open the outer packaging of the prescribed Insilagel and drop the syringe onto the sterile field. Then open the sterile gloves and drop the internal packet onto the sterile field. You must now decontaminate your hands as you have been touching outer packaging. Carefully open the sterile wrapping ensuring you do not touch the sterile field and put the gloves on. Open out the sterile drape and tear a hole in the centre of it. Ask your assistant to expose the patient. Note the presence of the inco pad to prevent soiling of the bed sheets. Place the sterile drape over the penis. Use a sterile gauze to create a sling. If necessary, retract the foreskin and use a minimum of five cotton wool balls to clean the gland's penis and the penile shaft from tip to base. UHL policy utilises a clean hand, dirty hand technique, as demonstrated here. Use your clean hand to pick up the sterile cotton wool balls and pass them to your dirty hand. This ensures that your sterile field is not contaminated. The dirty hand is the only hand that touches the genitalia. Once you have finished cleaning the genitalia, take your Instiligel and whilst holding the penis erect, insert 11 millilitres into the urethra. Dispose of the syringe into the sharps bin. Gently squeeze the tip of the penis to prevent leakage of the gel, allowing five minutes for the gel to take effect. 
Remove your gloves and decontaminate your hands. Take the selected catheter, ensuring you have the correct size. A female catheter should never be used in a male patient. Check the expiry date and note the stickers on the catheter pack that must be saved for use in the notes later. Open the outer packaging and carefully drop the catheter and syringe onto the sterile field. Be very careful not to touch the sterile field with the non-sterile outer catheter packaging. Wear sterile gloves and drop the internal packet onto the sterile field. You must decontaminate your hands at this point. Carefully open the sterile wrapping ensuring you do not touch the sterile field and put the gloves on. Open the 10 ml syringe from its sterile packaging and leave this on your sterile field. Open the urinary catheter from its sterile packaging using the perforations to help you, exposing the catheter tip only. Hold this in the sterile J tray and place onto the bed between the patient's legs. Avoid touching the catheter directly, using the packaging as a barrier. Hold the penis erect and insert the catheter along the urethra into the bladder. If there is any resistance, ask the patient to cough, which may ease insertion. Never force the catheter. Once the urine starts to flow, advance the catheter a further 5 cm. Take your 10 ml of sterile water from your sterile field and inflate the balloon, observing the patient for any signs of discomfort. Dispose of the syringe into the sharps bin. Once the balloon is inflated, withdraw the catheter gently to ensure it is secure against the bladder neck. Connect the selected drainage bag. This can then be attached to the patient's leg or catheter stand. Replace the foreskin and remove all waste material. Cover up the patient and return to your trolley. Wrap up and dispose of any remaining clinical waste. Remove your gloves and apron and decontaminate your hands. Thank the patient, remove any remaining clinical waste and decontaminate your hands. You should give thorough aftercare advice to your patient, such as cleaning the catheter and maintaining personal hygiene. Notify them of potential problems that they may need to observe for, such as pain, discomfort, or signs of infection such as discharge, and who to inform. Commence a catheter care pathway and document what you have done in the medical notes using the green sticker. You should also place the catheter package stickers in the medical notes and complete information requested on the package. Inform the patient's nursing and medical team and set a review date. This completes the male catheterization video. We hope you now feel more confident in performing catheterization and wish you the best of luck.